Well, good evening. Welcome to the Universal Stadium. Scholing against AFC Bournemouth under-21s. It's the Hampshire Senior Cup quarter-final. Luke Henry is alongside me. Luke, I'm going to bounce straight over to you. Are you excited for tonight? I'm excited. It's going to be a very good game. But one thing for sure is, Matt, it's absolutely freezing as we sit here in the Universal Stadium. Hopefully the game will make us a bit warmer. Well, what can we say coming into this game? It's been a, an interesting couple of weeks for Scholing. This the first time they've been uh, back here at the Universal Stadium for a month now. Uh, obviously, Bournemouth under-21s come here. They uh, made a few comments about the pitch as they arrived, but I'm sure they'll be fine playing on there today. Scholing just going over to the far side in their red and white striped shirts, as always, black shorts, black socks, just doing a few warm-ups, as are Bournemouth. Just running through the teams, Bournemouth have gone for Will Dennis in goal, Brooklyn Genesini, Jordan Zamora, Luke Nippard, Zeno Rossi, Harvard Bertrand, Harvey Bertrand, Gavin Kilkenny, he's the captain, Tom Dismore, Jake Scrimshaw, Jaden Anthony and Jake Cope. Scholing, Ryan Gosney, TJ Cuthbertson, Marvin McLean, Owen Roundell, Dan Miller, Owen Royal, Alex Sawyer, Byron Mason, captain, Dan Mason, Lee Wart and Jake Hall. And the game is underway. Bournemouth kicking off from right to left, as I said. Scholing, therefore, left to right. Was Dave Diprove on the touchline? He's got his work cut out this evening. Only three losses of the season so far. Scholing just putting the pressure on early on as Bournemouth will play that one all the way back to Will Dennis in goal over towards the left hand side of Zeno Rossi. Back again to the keeper, sporting a very bright yellow kit this evening. Here come Bournemouth up towards the halfway line, passing this one from right to left over towards the left wing. Rossi again picking up the ball. Showing just putting the pressure on early on, trying to get the early goal here, and it's a great breakaway from Owen Royal. Over towards the left is Byron Mason trying to take a strike on his right foot, and that one will be left for the keeper. Bright start for Showing. Well, let's hope so indeed. This one's dropped towards Lee Wart on the right hand side, in towards the box again. That one will go out for a goal kick that's seen all the way out. And there are the noises from the Ultras stand to our right. It seems as though Scholing have had the early possession of the ball, but this time it drops for Zamora. Down the left-hand side for Bournemouth now, into the attacking third, trying to make his way past Kutzputzson. He's done really well to keep the ball in his possession. Here's Jaden Anthony now in towards the box, and it's been cleared away by Dan Miller towards Kutzputzson. And that will be out for a throw to Bournemouth. A great run down the left-hand side. It's a very, very bright start from Zamora down the left-hand side. Good, good paint. And then he gave the ball to Jason Anthony as well, and he did very, very well, but great defending from Scholing. Well, he's on his way in again. That will be cleared away by Scholing. Dan Mason will chase this one, but that will be kicked out of play by Harvey Bertrands. Drops only as far as Zamora. Promising young talent for Bournemouth, it seems, as he skips his way through again, past Cuthbertson, in towards the box again. Kill Kenny, Bournemouth's captain. Just going to have to turn and try and find the pass that he wants to over towards the right-hand side. Bournemouth playing with a lot of attacking flair, as we saw in their pre-match warm-up. They're not, they're not shy of uh, putting the pressure on, even in the warm-ups between themselves. And it's a long shot taken from Tom Dinsmore, straight into the hands of Ryan Godney. Putting the pressure on now are the Cherries. Yes, it's been a bright start for Bournemouth, especially Zamora down the left-hand side. He seems to be one to watch, not afraid to go past one and two players. Uh, but it seems to be Bournemouth's game plan, I think. They're not trying to get the ball down, uh, use possession, but when they can... He's definitely tried to attack via the flanks. They're a very, very quick team. And I think, as we see the game stretch, they'll probably like to go on the counter attack just a bit more. Down the left now, Anthony. Where's he going to put this one in towards Zamora? Zamora turns his man cheekily onto the right. It's dropped for Cope. Couldn't get his shots away. Again, Bournemouth just on the edge of the area trying to find space to take a shot. Fantastic turn from Zamora. And again, in towards the box, showing just clearing the ball away. And Dan Mason will let that one chase. But... Bournemouth showing their class now. And here comes Zamora again down the left-hand side, showing his pace in towards the box. That one a drop towards Scrimswell. Back towards Zamora again. Can he keep the ball in play? He can do across the face of goal. And Anthony gets the ball into the back of the net. Bournemouth take a 1-0 lead just before half-time. And you can see that one coming. A fantastic run down the left from Zamora. Almost knocked in by Scrimshaw. But back in again from Zamora. Kept the ball in play on the near side. And Jaden Anthony puts Bournemouth 1-0 up. I did say them two had a very good partnership early on and they proved the di difference here. Again, it's a loose ball from Shirley. They'll be very disappointed, but Zamora again, great pace, burst of pace down the line. And he goes in a wicked cross and he gets uh, the return, puts in another great cross. And there was Anthony to turn it in at the back stick to make it. Shirley nil. Uh, FC Bournemouth 1.
The option for Owen Royal on the short, not taken and almost flicked in. Cuthbertson was waiting for it. Lee Wart surrounding Will Dennis and the goal. Well, the corner has been floated. It's a better corner this time and it's been knocked in at the far post. And there is the equaliser for Scholing. Just trying to work out who tapped that one in. Is it Dan Mason? Is it the man? He's on 52 goals if it is for the season. Scholing, what a fantastic corner. We were saying the delivery needed to be better. There you go. Does that satisfy you, Luke Henry? Ah, oh, it satisfies me and it satisfies the crowd around us. A few cheers because uh, Charlie's equalised. And they've had to be fair to him. They've had a great response since going 1 0 down. They haven't put their heads down. They've actually carried on going. They've actually improved. And a couple of great chances from corners. And they've taken that one. Although, Will Dennis is absolutely fuming. This one's going to be launched in towards the box. Stan Miller trying to get his head onto it. Does get the flick header. It's headed away by Luke Nippard. Back in again by Lee Wart. And that one's going to be almost stabbed home by Dan Mason. Almost, almost by Dan Mason, just on the goal line. Will Dennis just about picking up the ball. But here come Bournemouth now, straight on the attack down the right-hand side. Almost zips in towards the box from Anthony. Still alive, and I'll get your thoughts on that chance in just a moment, Luke. In fact, go to you now quickly. Oh, that's a big chance to slip from Dan Mason. I don't think he did everything he could, he slipped. He nearly got the right way to beat Will Dennis, but the ball just stuck it in the turf. Uh, he didn't get out, but it's, it's only had a very, very bright start to the second half. They'll be delighted uh, with their start so far. So more and out in control of the ball over towards Anthony on that left hand side those two definitely working up that partnership again back to Anthony again now on towards the edge of the six yard area challenges going in two showing players trying to clear it away Byron Mason now coming away with the ball that one will be cleared again towards Lee Watt being told to hold it up towards the halfway line doing very well now Lee Watt's turned his man and now he's away down the right hand side but he's got no one in support to pass to and that one will be knocked out for a throw. Very well done from Lee Ward over on the far side, winning that throw. And now he's just going to slow down play a little bit. Bournemouth getting their men back in numbers. Seven men behind the ball at the moment, but that one will go out for a throw. Shirley just trying to keep hold of the ball, but this time it's dropped towards Kilkenny, over towards the left-hand side, and it's a shot whipped in. That one will go wide for a goal kick, and Ryan Gosney will watch that one fly wide. About 65 minutes played, it's showing one at Bournemouth under 21's one here in the Hampshire Senior Cup quarter final. Free kick launch forward from Scholing up towards the head of Byron Mason. It's still loose in the edge of the area. No one was there for Scholing to pick up the ball. Bournemouth will just about clear this one away. Dennis in goal for Bournemouth. Has no idea where that ball was going to drop. Well, there's a few chants of happy birthday. Oh, there we go, physio's birthday today. There we go, nice little happy birthday from the uh, the Ultra fans there. And uh, physio running over, just uh, giving this other... Byron Mason, the captain, here is Brad Target now down the left-hand side as the home fans pick up the voice here at the Universal Stadium, straight across goal. And that one will be knocked out for corner to Scholing. We've seen Scholing from corners all throughout the season. Of course, they're unbeaten in the league with the one draw to their name. Uh, not so long ago, that draw as well, but... This is a cup competition, as we always say, anything can happen in a cup competition. It's the only games that Schoening seem to have lost, and it's the first round in the Hampshire Senior Cup that Schoening have conceded the goals. You rightly said earlier in the first half, Luke, but here is Jake Hall over on the far side. It will be his left foot to swing this one in towards the box. It's got some good height on it, over towards the far post, headed back in again from Roundall, almost dropped in from target. Cuthbertson knocks that one back out again. Hall in towards the box, couldn't quite get the contact he wanted onto it. In towards the box again, over towards Ward. Roundall picks up the ball again. Mason now with a low driving shot. Byron Mason that was, of course, and that one will go out for a throw on this near side. Well, Bournemouth now on the attack in the final third up towards the edge of the box and Zamora again finally getting a good ball across the edge of the area but it's gone straight through I think that's gone out for a goal kick it has but it was a great low ball across the six yard area it only needed a man in the blue shirts of Bournemouth just to tap it into the back of the net but showing just about getting away with that one we'll wait for this break of play to continue and then I'll ask you for your man of the match so keep that in mind here comes showing on the way forward and it's dropped towards the substitute of Brad Target. Target towards Hall on the left foot. And it's in towards the back of the net. What a fantastic goal. And showing three minutes from time. Look as if they've snatched this from Bournemouth. And they're going through to the semi-finals of the South Ham uh, Hampshire Senior Cup. And it's Jake Hall, Brad Target, passing the ball to him. And Jake Hall firing it in. Will Dennis got a touch to it, couldn't keep it out. Into the top right-hand corner. 87 minutes gone. It's Scholing 2, Bournemouth 1. 
got to give a huge amount of credit to Brad Target. It's a great run off the ball to get to that space. And then when he gets into that space, he doesn't panic. He races the defender one-on-one -on, -one on Rossi, but he doesn't panic. He turns back inside. And it's a great run. Like we said, the balance that Jake Paul's given, he's running down the line. It's a great pass through. And he doesn't have to break stride. And it's a great left foot hit right over the top of the goal. Dennis does make a touch. But do you know what? The, the strike is so fierce me. He has a... The hand is not strong enough and it goes into the back of the net. And like I said just five minutes ago, that surely deserved that. They've been very, very good in the second half. And Bournemouth, compared to their first half performance, haven't been as good as they were. Bournemouth with attack again down the middle. Nippert looking to play the wall down the right hand side. It's in towards Anthony. Gets the shot away on his right foot just over the bar. The Schoeling fans happy that that one's gone over. But a great, again, great counter attacking play from Bournemouth, the Cherries. But that one gone to waste again. Schoeling just again. Working their magic in defence and the referee blows the full time whistle and Scholing are in the semi-finals of the Hampshire Senior Cup. It's finished here at the Universal Stadium. Scholing 2, AFC Bournemouth under 21s 1 and you can hear by the excitement of the analysis there from Scholing FC how much that means to this club. Finally back on winning ways in a cup competition into the semi-finals. Luke, what a performance from the boatmen. Do you know, what a performance because they really deserved it. The opening 25 minutes, 30 minutes of the first half, it was very, very good for Bournemouth. They were very good, they were very sharp on the ball. Got used to the pitch one, two. Obviously, they said they were worried about it before the kickoff. Not the pitch showing another, another win for a remarkable season. It's finished here at the Universal Stadium, showing two Bournemouth under 21s one.